Okay, this is uh, Mud Creek. Uh, actually, mud for the first time. Part of the glacier broke off up above and on Mount Shasta and it's coming down. I don't know if you guys can hear this. How thick it is. Older. That's the sound of the rocks moving around. And what they're talking about is, uh, oh, look at the trees uh, shaking up there when the boulders hit them. Sounds like it's starting to speed up. Yeah, we better back up, everybody. It's the surge is starting to come. Yeah, yeah, it's rising quickly now over here. And forestry did tell me that the surge wasn't here yet. No, no, they said within 20 minutes, all of Pilgrim Creek is going to be under mud. So, that's what they told me, and I came up here because I didn't believe them. Okay? <laughs> I wanted to see it for myself. You gotta see it. But, yeah, I did. It is. It's like being on the coast and hearing a tsunami coming in, and everybody runs to the beach. It's like right. The yeah. Yeah, here we are. We're, we're doing the same thing. We're doing the same thing, so. Redneck. Right. Hillbilly style. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a rock hit one of those trees up there. The whole tree went like that. Well, we just saw about two trees taking completely out. Uh, a couple of lines. When we first got here, this whole pipe and cable system was sinking. Really? Wow. The vibrating was flowing so fast. It was just... Yeah, McLeod won't like it. Oh, no. It doesn't look like it's too well maintained. This is if the water supply don't make. Uh, that I'm not sure if 89 is closed.
crazy, aren't they? I can't imagine what uh, the dam must look like up up there on 31. Oh, I know. Oh, I was thinking about that when I was on my four wheeler riding up here. It's starting to creep up and build up. No, no, they, it's going to surge on us here, and so we need to be. By the way, I'm down to 50. Yeah, right, Dan. Dan is staring. There, there was Steven Susie next door. He lives quite next door. Awesome. I, bought, I bought Ralph's house. Oh, awesome. Nice yeah. to meet you. Oh, you guys haven't met no, yet? I thought no. you had. No. Steve Darren, it's my good buddy nice Darren. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. bought Ralph's house. I come up visiting it yeah. right yeah. down there. Darren's, uh... We have all, kind of, all kinds of drama going on. Yeah, of course, we, huh? You know, all the firefighters and everything yeah, else. It's pretty cool. I think we're saving a lot of cool, but... Dan, Dan served our country. Darren served our country. Yeah. yeah. Branch. Army. We both retired. Yeah? Yeah. We did our time. A long time ago. Been almost retired. Uh, Darren's in here. There you go. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, uh, they, they said to search 20 minutes. That's been... Five minutes for me to get up here, and I've been here for ten. So we need to watch what happens here. Well, it's starting you know. to buckle up on that one knuckle over there. Yeah, and uh, so I don't know. Yeah, it's starting to start, start pulling back here. So the level that the surge they're talking about is from. This is only slightly what, maybe 15, 20 feet high right now, from what normal is this time of year. Oh really? And so if the surge is going to go over the top of the bridge down on Pilgrim Creek. Yeah. That's going to be a rise of at least another 20, 25 feet. So that right here, the way it's going to collect right here, I think you know we could possibly be in some danger if we didn't back up. If it, you know. Hey, Steve. Guys, it is it is coming up. And going back up in here, and if they're correct, and I'm not saying they are, but the normal level of this, if it were to go over the top of the Pilgrim Creek Bridge, would probably rise another 20 feet. And if that happens in a surge form, then that means we're going to be right in it right here. Yes, we will. Uh, so at least we should think maybe about being in a spot that we can back up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so, low battery, 10%. Okay, love you, bye. Are you going to send that out live? I just FaceTimed with my daughter. So oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know how to do all that stuff. <laughs> so what do you think, Mike? Hey, you know what? It's a sight to see. Did you go hunting today? Oh. No. We got sea tags. We went. Oh, did you see anything? We went down in the burn, uh... Nice three point went across the road out in front of me. Um, up burn, up the uh, so down, burn? No, down in the burn, bag, Bagley. Oh, bag, okay. Down underneath the reservoir. Okay. Oh, it comes a little chunk of log. Okay, listen, listen. Do you hear it? Yeah. Is it is it rumbling up above us now? I'm hearing rumbling, yeah. Steve, everybody? I can't hear anything with all the rock movement. Look, I think we're hearing something come down now. We are. Let's, let's see if we can hear it. Do you feel it on your feet? No, can you? It got thick. Yeah, I got can you thick. feel it coming? I can feel it. Or the is it the constant right here? No, I hear something coming. We're still flowing pretty good. It's not building anymore up in here. Can you hear that? Yeah, because the surge that came through is about halfway up there. Okay. It's still flowing really good. Because you know I'm I'm one of those guys that's stupid enough to jump in here and save you guys. Yeah, no, we're okay? ready. Okay. And I hope you feel the same way about me. <laughs> I wouldn't expect it to see. We've been jumping in to save the Neanderthal floating down, so. 
well. Okay, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> How you doing? Over. Yeah, it slowed down, didn't it? Oh, that, that door is all plugged up up there. <laughs> uh, yep, that.